In this work, we introduce a new programming language called Tai Chi. Using this language, programmers can easily write high-performance code on spatially sparse data structures. Here we show a CN animation simulated and rendered using Tai Chi programs. Usually, graphics programmers will allocate a huge bounding volume to represent the simulation domain. However, the computation only happens in a tiny part of this huge bounding box. We call this spatial sparsity, which means regions of interest only occupy a small fraction of the bounding volume. In 3D visual computing, spatial sparsity is almost everywhere, specifically in computational design, visualization and rendering, and physical simulation, volumetric data are typically sparse and irregular. In 3D vision tasks, since scanning devices can only collect data from surfaces instead of whole volumes, speeding up 3D reconstruction, deep learning, and autonomous driving tasks needs exploiting spatial sparsity. To concentrate computation on sparse regions of interest, multi-level sparse voxel data structures are studied extensively. Here's a fluid simulation using Tai Chi programs with three levels of voxels, with sizes varying from 1 cubed to 16 cubed. Unfortunately, with traditional tools, using sparse data structure is never an easy task. These data structures are intrinsically complex, and more importantly, they are born with high data structure overheads. Ideally, one would expect data structure overhead to be as small as 10%, and the majority of clock cycles are spent on essential computation. However, when it comes to sparse computation, the situation is often reversed. 90% of the clock cycles are spent on data structure overhead, and 10% on essential computation sometimes even worse. This is because sparse data structures typically involve complex operations such as hash table lookup, memory indirections, node activation, and unpredictable branching, etc. All of them are very costly on modern computer architectures. Of course, it's possible to use low-level engineering to reduce the data structure overhead, but doing so harms productivity and couples algorithms with data structures, making it difficult to explore the whole data structure design space and figure out the optimal data structure. For example, on this CPU data structure, accessing one element can take up to 50 clock cycles, while a vectorized stencil operation may take only 0.5 cycle per element. A naive implementation will lead to a data structure overhead that is 100 times higher than the cost of essential computation. A fun fact is, although dense data structures do not exploit sparsity, thanks to their low overhead, without low-level engineering, they are often practically faster than more complex sparse data structures. To make high-performance sparse computation easier, we developed the Tai Chi programming language. Tai Chi decouples the definition of computation from that of data structures. The computational kernels are defined using an imperative language and the data structures are specified independently using a hierarchical description language. Our intermediate representation is tailored for data structure access optimizations, which are done automatically by the Tai Chi compiler. The runtime system provides infrastructure such as auto-parallelization and memory management. The code generator emits either CPU or GPU executables. Our benchmarks show that we can get 4.55x higher performance with only one-tenth lines of code. Defining computation in Tai Chi is rather straightforward. Programmers can access sparse data structures using indices as if they are dense. We offer parallel for loops so that users can code in a single program multiple data paradigm, as in CUDA or ISPC. For loops in Tai Chi loop over only active elements in sparse data structures. We also support complex control flows such as if and while statements. In fact, our language is expressive enough for most graphics and vision tasks. For example, here is a volumetric path tracing renderer written in Tai Chi, running on a GPU. The high performance allows users to take the lighting interactively. In Tai Chi, data structures are defined independently of computation. We developed a simple data structure MIDI language that allows programmers to easily compose complex hierarchical data structures. For example, you can represent the well-known VDB and SP grade data structure in just two lines of code. You can even easily invent your own fancy data structures. Tai Chi allows programmers to easily customize and switch between different data structures. Here's a snowball simulation in a bounded 3D grid. 
You may notice the bounded domain leads to a undesirable behavior when the snow particles hit the boundary. We can easily modify the data structure with one line of code and change the boundary condition to make the simulation unbounded. This is thanks to our computation data structure decoupling and the expressiveness of our data structure language. Our compiler does automatic optimization on data structure accesses. To better illustrate why removing redundant accesses is important, here we visualize the data access time. The vertical distance is proportional to the number of clock cycles consumed to travel in that data structure. On a simple and dense data structure, accessing an element is really fast, yet no sparsity is provided and you may waste a lot of memory on unnecessary voxels. In order to provide sparsity, a programmer may use a two-level sparse data structure. Let's say we have a hash table of dense arrays. Accessing a voxel here means first traveling down from the hash table, followed by an array addressing. If we have a second access to a nearby voxel, the second hash table access is redundant. Detecting and eliminating this redundant access at compile time is of vital importance. Our compiler optimizations are centered around reducing redundant accesses. Our benchmarks show our optimizations speed up Tai Chi programs by a factor of 3. In summary, traditional programming approaches for spatial sparsity face an unsatisfactory trade-off between productivity and performance. With sparse data structure libraries and general-purpose compilers, you can productively write high-level code with low performance, or do heavy engineering for high-performance code using low-level interfaces. Tai Chi removed this trade-off thanks to the data structure abstraction that makes sparse data structures as easy to use as dense ones and the Tai Chi compiler that does special optimization for the data structures. Further, since Tai Chi decouples data structures from computation, programmers can now freely explore different data structures and pick one that works best for a specific problem and a specific computer architecture. The three designs here enable Tai Chi programmers to write 10x shorter code while getting 4.6x higher performance. We have benchmarked our system on a variety of visual computing applications. Our source code is publicly available, and all the performance numbers from our system can be reproduced with a single command as provided in our paper. Thanks for watching.